Hello and welcome to CloudChamp. Today in this video, we are going to talk about a very important service in AWS that is Amazon EC2. Amazon EC2 is very popular service of AWS and it is very important for you to know this service because it's used everywhere. According to Integrately service, Netflix spends around $19 million every month on AWS EC2. So it is very important for you to know this service because it's used everywhere today. And if you have the knowledge for this service mentioned in your resume, definitely you will stand out among other candidates. So let's learn about AWS EC2 in this video. We will learn all the components and all the features available including the AWS EC2 instance types, the purchasing options, the different types of AWS instances, the security group and all the other components of EC2. So before we go ahead, I want you to please subscribe to the channel because most of the people have not subscribed yet. I take a lot of effort to make uh, these videos. So please subscribe to this channel and let's get started to learn the AWS EC2. According to the definition by AWS, Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud provides scalable computing capacity in the cloud. Using Amazon EC2 eliminates your need to invest in hardware upfront so you can develop and deploy applications faster. So what this means is you get servers on rent earlier before cloud when there was no cloud. We used to buy servers and install them and configure them. Uh, this used to take around weeks and maybe sometime months. It was quite time consuming and very costly. So EC2 have changed the game. EC2 have changed how people work and now we can deploy our application faster. We can launch our servers just in seconds. We can launch hundreds of servers just in one second. So yeah, it is very important for you to know this service. Why? EC2 why we should use EC2 or what are the features of EC2 so EC2 provides virtual machines and let you choose the operating system also known as AMI for Amazon EC2 provides you with a lot of AMIs A AMI catalog you can see the number different types of AMIs available so you get Linux Windows Mac OS Red Hat SUS Ubuntu Windows Microsoft and everything that everything that you want you can also create your own AMIs or Amazon machine images. You get marketplace AMIs which are ready-made AMIs. For example, let's take this WordPress. You don't need to configure WordPress on your server. You get it ready-made so you can start your blog in seconds. You also get communities AMI from other fellow community people. So this is what AMI is. AWS EC2 lets you choose the AMI of your choice according to your workload. And the second is how much compute power or RAM or storage you need. So you can choose the amount of RAM or workload. Amazon EC2 provides you with instance type, different instance type. You can choose any of them according to your workload. Amazon EC2 lets you choose uh, different instance type based on your requirement. So let's take this for example. It provides the C1 large provides you 8 vCPUs, 7 GB RAM and storage of 1680 GB so that's a lot so you get to choose the different types of instances based on your workload so you can choose your CPU your memory and your storage the third option is you get to choose the type of storage you want to attach so in EC2 you can attach EBS or known as elastic block store or you can attach elastic file systems or you can attach instance store as well we will see the different storage options later on the fourth is it, al it allows you to select the ports you want to open you can do this using security groups so you can create your own security group and allow the ports for and you can add a rule here we will look about security group and further sessions so basically you can add your ports you can allow ports whichever you want this is a feature one of the feature of AWS EC2 and the you can also distribute load across instances using the load balancer option so you can distribute the traffic among different servers among different instances using the load balancers uh, we will look about we will learn more about load balancers in the further sessions and you can also use auto scaling groups to increase the number of instances whenever the load is coming in and decrease the number of instances when there is less traffic. 
these are the features of EC2. So now you have understood why EC2 is so important and why it is so powerful. Everyone uses EC2 because it provides you with many options and many flexibility. That is why we should use, we should know about EC2 and it is very important for you to know. Let's talk about the different EC2 instance type that is general purpose, compute optimized, memory optimized and storage optimized. The first one is general purpose. The general purpose instances provide a balance of compute, memory and networking resources and can be used for a variety of diverse workloads. This blog by AWS explains you everything about the different EC2 instance type. These are all the instances different instances which are in the general purpose so let's take an example of t2 micro or t2 that we use for free tier usually so this is two t2 micro it has one cpu 16 credits one gb ram and ebs packed storage so these are general purpose which are used mostly for web servers and code repositories we mostly use general purpose but the next type is compute optimized Compute optimized instances are best for compute intensive tasks that require high performance processor. So whenever you, you have a workload that requires more of the compute capacity, which require more compute power, you can use compute optimized. The use cases for compute optimized are batch processing, high performance web servers, high performance computing or HPC, dedicated gaming servers, or machine learning interface. The different types of compute optimized instances are the C family, C7G, C6G and all the other. Let's take C6GN for example. Uh, as you can see they have core of around 32, 48, 64. So the compute power in this type of instances is more and used for compute intensive workload. So the next instance type is memory optimized instance type. This is the photo of the RAM. Memory optimized is designed for, is designed to deliver fast performance for workloads that process large data sets in memory. Whenever you want more RAM, you can use memory optimized instances. The use cases are high performance databases or application performing real time processing of big unstructured data. So something that needs uh, memory can be done through memory optimized instances. So the memory optimized instances are R family, R stands for RAM. So if you see there are the memory for this types of instances is quite big, quite more. Let's take the next type that is storage optimized. So for workloads that require high sequential reads and write access to every large data sets on local storage, they are optimized to deliver ten, tens of thousands of low latency IO operations per second or IOPS to the application. So the use cases for this type of instances is Redis, cache and distributed file system, data warehousing application and this instance type include the I family. So if you see this, they have more of the storage as compared to the CPU and the memory. So Whenever you need more storage, you go for storage optimized. So these are the instance type. Let's talk about security group for now. Security groups acts as a virtual firewall for your sec EC2 instances to control incoming and outgoing traffic. So you can control the inbound and outbound traffic by allowing ports. Let's go to the console and let's look how to what does a security group look like. If you don't know, I have created a video which launches, terminates and connects to EC2 inst connects to the instance. You can go check it out. I'll link it here and post the link in the description below as well. I've also shown how to create a security group and other components while launching an instance. So let's create a security group and we can get to know what all the things are. So my demo security group security all right so this is the inbound rule inbound rules mean traffic coming into the instance so we can add inbound rule you need to know different ports for this so the first port we will add is ssh to connect to our instance 
that is port 22 you can add anywhere or my IP the next we can add is HTTP for that is port 80 for HTTP access from anywhere so you can add many of different ports that are presented here you can add HTTPS, RD, HTTPS, TCP, POP3, IMAP, LDAP, SMB, SMTPS so many instances, many things for inbound traffic you can delete a rule by clicking here the outbound traffic is the traffic that goes out from the instances so by default everything is allowed for outbound traffic you can add a tag to differentiate your different EC2 groups so let's add a tag here create we have successfully created a security group which has two inbound rules that is HTTP port 80 and SSH port 22 so this instance whenever I attach this security group to any instance it will have access to connect the instance as it will have HTTP access as well by default all the inbound traffic is blocked whenever you create new security group you need to add inbound traffic and by default all the inbound outbound traffic is allowed and you can also attach so you can attach more than one security group to a single instance now let's look about the EC2 launch types so the EC2 launch types are on demand instances reserved instances spot instances dedicated host and dedicated instances we will look about this EC2 launch type in the next video so please check that out I'll link it here and for more videos like this please subscribe to this channel so I can post more about AWS clouds and DevOps and I hope you understood the concept and how important it is to learn Amazon EC2 it is very important for exam perspective as well there are many questions in the solutions architect exam on this topic so please check it out and I hope you liked it please subscribe have a good day